Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. This is going to be a build video on cooling things down with toilet water. As you saw in the title, I'm sure. That's probably why you clicked the video. So, the way this works is uh, the toilet, sink, and the shower, they all output water at the same temperature that they intake it. But the important thing about the toilet is that it pretty much doubles the amount of water it, that it intakes. It intakes 5 kilograms, as we can see here, and it outputs 11.7. So, essentially, if we cool the water down before we put it into the toilet, it's going to give us more cold water than we cooled down. So we can use that extra cool water to cool down the aqua tuner to further cool down more water. So it's a self-cooling system that uh, can potentially cool other things down. So let's get into kind of the meat and potatoes, as they say. We've got our reservoir here, which represents like cool steam geyser, and that's being pumped into our aqua tuner. Water right now is 80 degrees. It was 84, but I'm continuously pumping the water back into the reservoir after it gets sieved out. So it's it's eventually going to cool it down to 40 degrees, which is pretty cool because then the aqua tuner will have to do like no work almost. So we've got a a um, a circulation system here set on the aqua tuner so that we can cool the water down to what we need it. And we've got it set to 30 degrees right now. I'll go over how this works briefly. We've got the pipe sensor set to above 30, connecting to a shutoff. So if the water is above 30 degrees, then this will open and allow the water to continuously circulate. And because it's connected to a valve, it will it will prefer going through the valve rather than out through this pipe over here. It will prefer going out through the end of the valve. So this will continuously circulate until the water hits target temp. We also have a element sensor here that will shut off this valve if there's water in this pipe. That way we don't get this backed up because if it continuously pumps, then the water will eventually just reach a point where it won't be able to circulate and then it will clog up. So once our target temp is reached, we pump out to a reservoir here, which goes to our toilets. As you can see, we have 540 kilograms stored um, so we're producing more cold water than we need for our toilets. Uh, so we can use this water to pump out to other places, you know, other things that need it, like bristle blossoms or, or whatnot. That was my original idea, but again, it's bottlenecked by duplicates, so that's not going to work for my Ravaging Hunger Run, which, by the way, if you're not watching, you should check it out. I'll put a link up here in the corner um, so you can check that series out. It's pretty neat, pretty awesome, and it's very hard to do, so... If you're ever curious about that, check it out. But let's get back into it. Um, right, goes back to the toilet. So let's go over the other automation. Not that it's that important. I'm sure you could all figure this out for yourselves, but I'll cover it anyway. So we have a temperature sensor here set to 100 degrees, well, above 100 degrees. So if this room or the water that gets pumped in here to cool the aqua tuner down hits 100 degrees, it's going to trigger this off, which is going to shut down the aqua tuner. As you can see, it is shut down because our current temperature is 101. It's then going to go to a memory toggle. So this is the active port, which will activate the end or activate the output rather. Uh, which will open this door, allowing the hot water to drip down to the pump. This is a filter gate set at 10 seconds. So 10 seconds after this deactivates, or 10 seconds after this activates, it's going to hit the reset on the memory toggle, closing the door. So essentially the door is going to stay open for 10 seconds and then close. And then this further goes on to shut this valve off because obviously we don't want the door open while we're pumping water in here because it'll just fall down and get pumped out um, you would want this pump actually closer because i've had instances where water is getting pumped in right as the door is opening and because it's already past the valve it doesn't get shut off so it actually drips down to the pump so you'd want this right next to the vent if possible um, so yeah, that's how it works. Liam's in the restroom right now, so we can kind of see how this works. Here comes our water at 34 degrees. Drip, drip, drip. Temperature toggle goes on. It's not going to take long to, to reach our uh, 100 degrees in here. As you can see, boom, door opens. It drops the hot water. As you can see, 111 degrees. Um, Gives us a nice little packet of cool water right here. Sometimes it'll do two, sometimes it'll do three, but essentially you get more cooled water than you use, or than 
yeah, you get more cold water out of it. So drops it down, pump, pumps it out to the sieve. Uh, you can see it's 100 degrees. It'll go through the sieve and then come out at 40 and then go back into the reservoir to for further cool down that huge mass of water that you're pumping from. Or you can just use that 40 degree water for other things. Um, but I, I think I would just pump it right back into the reservoir. So that's how the system works. I have been running it for uh, about nine or ten cycles now, and it's continuously cold, cooled, and continuously produced more water. So pretty happy with it. Like I, like I said earlier, I don't know how practical it is, um, but I'm probably going to set this system up in my base because I want to augment the cool water I have for bristle blossoms and that's just the ravaging hunger thing I don't know that you would actually need this in a regular base but regardless I thought it was pretty neat when I saw it so I wanted to share it with y'all let me know what you think in the comments if you like this video you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button because it really helps me out and I appreciate it what drives me to make these videos when people hit that like button and um, it feels really good so thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day